These are the camera and controller settings that I use on FC24. I'm 100% sure. This is my worst video to record by an absolute mile. I just sit here and talk about camera and controller, and then once I'm finished with it, it's like, I don't feel like I've recorded anything. I feel like, well, this is shit, but then you lot actually just want to see it. So yeah, here's a balloon. Fine, I'll be Tom Brady again. Hit the bin. Down, pound. Ugly shot. That was actually a nice shot, that. Anyway, yeah, here's the settings. Woo! -hoo. I play classic and classic. Yeah, they're my settings. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing more to say about that. Now, these are my game settings, right? Competitive. Time finishing on. You don't know about time finishing. If you're green is short, it's 100 times better. If you learn time finishing, like, you'll score a chance that has 50% of the chance going in. If you green it, it has, like, 95% of the chance going in. Like, you will not find a good player that doesn't time finish, right? So get it on and practice it. Semi, semi, assisted, assisted, semi, late. Late player lock because I feel like good players just use late player lock. So, like, if I see a different pass I want to play last second, I can just aim there and i think it'll go to the, the guy i see last second if it was on the other two i don't think it works uh this i couldn't give a donkey about this i'll be honest with you lot i got it on high because i feel like if you're normal but like, it doesn't make me feel like a pro but if i get it on high i think oh yeah like i'm top tier like i've got the, the, like a setting on high genuinely i promise you that's the only reason but like, i don't even use precision pass so it's pretty much irrelevant clearance assistance i have it on directional because if i click circle to clear the ball and i want it to go out of play i can aim at a play but if you have it on classic and you click circle it goes anywhere like you can't aim where it goes so yeah that's why i use directional advanced defending right the reason i have advanced defending over tactical defending is that it's basically the same thing however on advanced defending there's just an extra button to click if you have legacy no not legacy tactical and advance it's the same thing if you don't use the x button but if you use x you get to do a shoulder challenge or a seal out i don't really use that but i have it on advanced defending anyway uh pass block assistance i have it on air balls and loose balls um sometimes i have manual it depends like because manual the only issue with manual you can see more corners it's harder to switch on to the right player but then like on air balls and loose balls sometimes it switches you when you don't want to get switched but i'd rather that they can see corners so yeah i have that this i have on low it's not good to have it on a high because when you switch player your guy will carry on moving i don't like it on non because like sometimes i want my players to carry on moving to where like i'm sort of yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Just put it on low, right? It's the best one, I promise. Right stick section, classic, adaptive, yeah, it makes your game lag. Player rotation makes, uh, I don't even know what this does, but just go classic. This, go player relative. If you go ball relative, no matter where you switch, it's just gonna switch to the closest guy to the ball. This I've got on four. I tried it on seven and stuff, but I think four is the most like last year and the year before. So four was good for me. Next player switching, I got on classic. Player lock, I got on. And icon switching, I got off. Icon switching is just annoying. If you click the right stick and accidentally, a load of different things pop up on the screen, which I don't like. And obviously, player lock's really good if you get to know how to do it. You click both sticks in and there's a player lock. It works. You just got to find out how to do it. Orbit dribbling. I've not got a Scooby-Doo what this is, mate. I've left it on. Save us as a semi. I don't know why, right? But it was last year when I was practicing for playoffs. I had it all assisted and my keeper was making no saves. So I was like, all right, let me try semi. And then my keeper started getting better so yeah that's why save assistance is on semi analog sprint off um this is off because it just allows you to be full speed at all times if you have it on on sometimes like your player is not running as fast as he should and then it just annoys you and you can't do certain sprint boosts and stuff so have that on off top tier trigger effect off because otherwise it's annoying and use a vibration i have off as well because otherwise it's just annoying and they are my settings yeah i go through them now you can pause it at any point uh match these are my settings i hide these quick subs because sometimes i'd accidentally sub off one of my best players so yeah i have quick subs i have hide and now my camera is very very boring i have tele broadcast <laughs> tele broadcast tele broadcast default genuinely there's no more to it i've used co-op in the past co-op's good i used it at world cup and a lot of last year where like i had a good year last year so well an okay year so cart was good telly shit classic do not go on dynamic too close to the screen and the rest are washed player name such indicator I have player name because the indicator is so big this year and like the ps thing above next to the guy's game tag is massive so i've got player name and then on small because otherwise it takes way too much of the screen player indicator fade i have off i don't even know what it does but i've got it off and now this play style thing i have off because if it's on like apparently i read somewhere it makes the game lag a little bit and i don't want the game to lag so i have that on off just to stop any delay or lag that might be happening on the screen sorry about my hair i'm getting my hair cut in about five minutes mate straight after this video i'm going to get my hair cut and that's my barber again
Next player switch indicator, I have off. Because if this is on, I get confused about who I'm controlling. Like, if this is on, there's two arrows above my people's heads. And my eyesight, I, it gets confused. And then I don't know who I'm controlling. I don't know what's what. So, yeah, that's off. The rest of this stuff's on, off, whatever. Yeah, cool. Scroll lineups is off because it gets in the way on the screen. Hyper motion insight overlays. I'm going to turn that off as well because that annoys me on when it's on the screen as well. And, yeah, my audio. I know none of you are interested, but this is my audio. Cool. Right. That's that video.